be. It's good you're here. Second chance. <laughs> I never really got it, did I? Are you over yet? Just hold out a little longer. You know, that's not true. I see it on your face. So me. I'm... I'm fading, V. Help me out. So me. I... I tried on my own. Don't have the strength. Please. End it. I'll go quickly. It'll be over. So me, we got the neural matrix. We'll use it. Cure you, cure me. It's all good. We'll be all good. for me. Blackwall, it's taken almost all of me. Dying is my only hope. Only way out. Please be. If I refuse, what then? I'll be forever lost. Searching for myself in endless loops beyond the black wall. Not knowing who I was. An algorithm lost and dreaming. The memories of a human. Someone else. To exist like this, I can't. Let me die. Let me die, please. This sucks. I really don't know what to pick. I kind of want to just pick the first option and see what happens, but... I don't know, man. This is really tough. Please. He's got the best rippers. Reed said so. To help you. Never stopped lying to himself. FIA, Blackwall, and the same hell. Different trappings. B, please. Let me die. We just do we have to? So I, I I can't. That's not a solution. It's the only solution. I'm begging you, V. No, not a solution, so me. kill you. No. I just won't. No, please. You're leaving me to a fate worse than than death. Show me. You're all right. It'll be over soon. You'll get some rest. Help me. 
Haven't said a word the whole way. What's eating you? Dunno. I don't know, V. You wanna talk? You know? About what happened? We did good. Did the right thing. We'll get her help. But I can't... I can't help stop seeing the same scene. Like it's burned inside my dome. We're in a car, moving, leaving Brooklyn. She refuses to turn, look back. No tears, no sobbing, just a statement. Seems like you saved my life. She doesn't believe it. I can hear she doesn't believe it. Would she say the same now? Think you did. Think you saved her then. Hope we'll save her again now. We're in the same boat. Clock's ticking for both Song and me. Just hope the FIA's up to the task. Of course. to stick with you till the end, all right? Please step out of the vehicle. Reed? Let's go. Out of the car. Now. Stand the fuck down. Can't you see she needs help? V, I need you to help her. I got it. Right here, ma'am. Easy does it. Area secured. All clear for landing. Don't worry, Somi. We'll help. This will be over soon. Take good care of her. V, the president would like a word. Hello, Rosalind. V, congratulations. You did fine work. V, you risked your life to help me, to help our nation. That merits recognition. Uh, didn't expect this. Thank you, V, for your aid. I won't forget this. So what happens now? We say our goodbyes. You will return to Night City. Take pride in what you've achieved here, V. What about the help you promised me? The medal is purely symbolic, of course. Your actual compensation will be more practical. Reed will fill you in on the details. 
When Somi's better, you'll send word. Not to worry. She'll recover. Okay, but you'll let me know, right? Let me talk to her? I'm afraid that will be impossible. National security demands all that has transpired here will be classified top secret. So long, Rosalind. Best of luck, V. Perhaps one day you'll be called on to serve again. We'll have our eye on you. You all right? We're all set to go. She asked me once if I... If I'd always be by her side when she fucked up. I said I wouldn't miss it for the world. She didn't believe me. Just smiled. She shook her head. She wasn't buying it, I could tell. Then she dropped this bomb. Lost all my friends when you recruited me, she says. Now don't you become my enemy. That's all I ask. I wonder now if she was right not to believe me. Or did I keep my promise? Somi got the same medal just after her first FIA op. She gave it to a homeless man on 21st. The guy just pinned it to his jacket like it was nothing and asked for spare change. Damn it, V. Just damn. Reed, if Myers is lying, if she doesn't save Somi means we gave Song something worse than death. You think I don't know that? The FIA will save her. She'll be all right. Listen, I need a few days to put together what we promised you. I trust that's no problem. Sure, I can wait. A few days won't kill me. Medlin and Corian from Mize. They're tokens of important memories, never of regrets. Sure. If ever there are moments I chalk this up to some crazy dream, they'll serve as proof that we really did go to hell and back. So thanks, Reed. Ever since the start of this whole FIA business, been trying to pin down a strange feeling. This fear gnawing at my insides, yelling louder and louder, yelling that I should delta as far away as possible, think I've finally figured out what it was. Demons of your past come tugging at your balls? Tenacious, the motherfuckers. Some stories don't get a happy ending for the credits roll. Leaving questions you're never gonna find the answers to. Questions you'll lug around till the day you croak. <laughs> Sounds about right. Better believe it. it can turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know. Dwelling on past mistakes. How do you mean? You try so hard to run away from them, you forget you're going around in a neat little circle. Heading for a head-on. And fucking bam. 
Exactly. Uh, one way or another, shit always ends up fucked. First Saburo, then your Nobu, now Myers. Got a knack for getting in dangerous peeps' ways, you know? For real, though. How's it feel, you know? With all that's gone down. Zeroed plenty of people, but with her... I just couldn't find it in me. Had a tomb during the war. Coal. M9 shredded him, was bleeding out in my lap. There I am, holding his stomach, trying to stop his guts from spilling out. Telling him it's gonna be all right. We're gonna get him home. He tells me to let go and give him a smoke. So you let him die? I gave the man his smoke. Well, at least you got a medal. Not helping, Johnny. Not making your life any easier, I know. But thinking about Songbird, about Reed, finally starting to see why I did all the shit I did. Why I went AWOL during the war, then set off on the warpath against Arasaka. Why I called Carrie a fucking pussy so many times. I think I finally understand why, despite all that's gone down, I feel for Reed. Cause we're one and the same. Idealists fighting for a cause, blind to the fact that it'll put everyone we care about in the ground. Only thing sets us apart is this faith in the system, in its principles. Except the line between believing in an ideal and being plain naive is, well, pretty fucking thin. That's where you're nothing alike. Reed did everything he could to keep Song alive, sacrificed all, even himself. You, on the other hand... Guess I was never chasing ideals, not really. Life. That's what I was running from. And? Still running? Does it matter? I'm still breathing. Sort of. Just don't know what the fuck for. Gotta keep reminding yourself. I'll start by taking a good look at myself in the mirror. Already know I'm gonna fucking hate what I see. All right. Good talk. Get up. You know what? Glad we talked, Johnny. You've changed. For better or worse? Guess we'll find out. Come on, let's go. First met here. Same exact court. Different ball game. Can't deny that. I called you because I never got a chance to thank you. We did what we had to. So me you live. Good work. You sure we did the right thing? I'd rather not hash it out. It wouldn't end well. Only thing I can fucking think about. Trust me, thinking will get you nowhere. That, and sleepless nights. So, sleeping like a babe these days, are you? I have no trouble sleeping. That's what whiskey's for. Dreams, they're a problem at times. But I'm not about to bore you with details. Listen, help you promised me. Is everything ready? That all you care about? Preparations are underway, as promised. So what about Somi? How's she doing? The changes in her nervous system, entropic breakdown. They were too far gone. The Matrix didn't take. It's now in storage, being kept for you. We had to resort to alternate means, but Somi will live. I believe she might even return to active duty. So Song had it right all along. Myers will never let her walk free, will she? Lose her only point of access to the Black Wall? What's important to me is that she's alive. Why? For what price or purpose? If you can't reverse the erosion of her psyche, if she can't go back to being her old self, then... 
Then what have we done, Reed? We helped her is what. As long as she's alive, there's hope. Yeah, I know. You're right. Did what we had to. Only thing we could do to give Somi a second chance. Somehow keep her safe. I'm with you on that. Just can't help wondering if... You couldn't have done more for her. V, Songbird is an FIA agent in critical condition in an FIA clinic. In the care of our top specialists. There's nothing more I can do for her. It's fully out of my hands. Meaning what? Myers has summoned me back to Washington. Langley or Glenclose is probably my next post. Desk job? To start, for a while. Plucking promising operatives out of a pool of new recruits. Promising operatives, you say? I gotta admit, you're pretty good at reading people. I mostly have an eye for talent. I guess that'll have to do. <laughs> well, seems you might have finally found your place on Earth. You ought to find yours, too, before it's too late. Just not at any price. You know how that ends. Mm-hmm. All right. Take care, Reed. I'll drop you a signal once our neurosurgeons are set. Take care, V. I'm gonna hang back a little. Okay, I'm a lot more happier with how the conversation went that time around. I'm a little angry that, like, the answer that I wanted to give removes the two other dialogue options. But if you choose the other two dialogue options, you then get to come back to the option that I wanted to pick in the first place. That's a little bit annoying, but okay. Hey, Johnny. Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? <sighs> yeah, it's just... I didn't put the facts together till now. Hmm. Convenient. But say I go along with that. The question is, what are you gonna do with the facts? Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Raisin Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. Are you there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. Good luck, V. Thanks, Reed. For everything. So this is how it ends. How else did you see it playing out? It's my body. Hmm. And it's my life. And you agreed to get wiped earlier. Remember the dog tag scene? Yeah, I don't like the idea of getting rid of Johnny. As you know, my favorite ending is where V gives Johnny the body, and Johnny lives on through V's body. That's my favorite ending, so... This one, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we think of it. Right now, I feel really bad about Johnny. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. Where are we going? An agency clinic in Langley. Got our best specialist station there. Great. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you. He got held up on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. Convenient. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Why isn't Reed here? 
Lozano. Pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Oh. I want to bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. Yeah, you open shook it. my hand, Weiss. Indulge me. Night city. Ah, uh, good old night city. Most reliable of late capitalism's human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you ever toss back in again. Sure, I'll handle it. Slept up occasionally, but learned a buttload over the last few weeks. Interesting. Cause I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. Let it go. Don't deserve this abuse. People rarely get what they deserve, V. Why, Johnny? Last time we're ever gonna talk this. So you're gonna do your damnedest to make me feel like shit? Because it's my last chance to make a difference. If not in the world, then in you. Didn't see eye to eye and everything. At least it was nice knowing you. You want me to act like this? Us was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. I'm sorry, Johnny. Sorry you couldn't go out on your terms. The, the way you wanted. Shouldn't be like this, I know. You're just spewing words. Fine. Yeah. But I... I wanted you to hear them. Could have been solid-ass tunes in another life. Wondering why we weren't in this one. Stubborn to a fault. Iron willed. Glued to our principles, you and I. Think that's what I respect most about you. Sticking to your guns. Good to hear. No telling what we'd have achieved if we really put our heads together. No pun intended. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden-free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo. Yes. So... Think we can find it in our heart to forgive each other? Yeah. I can. You? I think I can, too. I wasn't ready for that. You in there? I fear they are coaching. You should not have a return. You will die here with me. 
I did not know I could trust you. The circumstances have changed. Take care, V. V, stay with me! Lots of Takamura in this one. Me. Those are memories. It is a duty of the living to atone for the dead. Afterlife, see you there. I was expecting to hear like Judy, Pan Am. Uh, they're opening. They're I'm happy to hear Takamura now. though. I like Takamura a lot. V, can you hear me? I think I can hear. I can talk. Good. About time. Reed, uh, saw you seem different somehow. Even almost look like. Uh, Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. No exception. Nice, nice view. What? Out the window. Mm, greenery, calm, birds chirping. Not what you used to. I was told you got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV, you weren't there. Right, right. Well, I'm not as busy anymore. Besides, I plain wanted to see you. And the doc said you needed to see a familiar face. Now, in particular. So, yeah. How do you know when I'd wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork, training recruits, nothing to write home about. Not your style of work, sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. Need to ask, how's so me? Everything work out all right? I've been... Cut off from updates for a while now. Mm. She's alive. That's all I know. I guess that's what we'll have to do. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and I get wild card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You alive? Here in a big ass butt in there. Cause there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. Telling me I wiped Johnny. Sacrificed him. For nothing. Not for nothing. You're alive. Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. Oh? Imagined the future would look a little different. Joke. Shit, I'm impressed. <laughs> what good would it do to rage at reality? Don't see any sense in it. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps wanting to help me. Never being able to. Why? 
Are you... Are you all right? I need... I need... Need some air. Barely stand. I've been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. <laughs> Can hardly believe it. Why, why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, it reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? Why? What? what about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? Do you listen to me? Your body? It ain't going back to what it was. And then she's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Please understand. I'd like to spare you that disappointment, at least. Great. And what comes next? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Don't know, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, Call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me. Way. Hey, Jude. Judy looks pretty v. good. Where are you been to? <sighs> In U.S. clinic. Had surgery. That's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of that time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. I should be dead, I know. Good news is, finally found a way to excise the biochip. What? How? Telling me Silverhand's out? You're gonna remain uh, yourself? Forever and ever. A hundred percent V. V? That is beyond Nova. So damn nice to know some stories actually get a happy ending. Dealing with some drawbacks. I... I'll uh, never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but... I have no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. I hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Thought I could drop by, see you. We'd grab a pizza, talk. You know, a lot's changed. Prem, fresh in sea gossip. <laughs> Can't wait to hear it. V, I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now, really can't help you. Shit. Miss so much. You know, if you hadn't vanished, don't know that I'd ever have left NC. Or met Bianca. Maybe I should have ghosted sooner. Come on. You know it's not like that. Well, if 
Bye, Judy. Really hope our paths cross again someday. Me too, V. And good luck. See what up with Carrie. We like Carrie. Hey, that's why I say, you know what? Fuck him sideways. Hang on, I got Someone grinding your gears again? Holy fuck. V? Or is it Johnny? V. V, it's me. <laughs> The one and only. Fuck me! I can't believe it. <laughs> Goddamn preem, you're alive, Jewel! Kinda figured you might be happy. So what about you, Care? What's up? Career going strong? Actually, fuck yeah. Thanks for asking. Sitting on a crystal palace as we speak. Played a gig yesterday? Had this beaut fucking view of Europe. Shit. V, wish you were here. Yeah, I... not really in a partying mood right now. Okay, Spill. Sums up. Really want to talk face to face. Uh, oh. Sounds serious. Think we can meet up? Uh, I can't now. I'm on tour. It will be a while. But if the hollow's enough, I'm all yours. Well, just woke up from a two-year coma. Gee, shit. Can you not, June? Come on, I'm on a call. Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Did you uh, hear yeah. what I... Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah. Uh, got surgery. That's why I'm alive, but... Didn't work out. Not completely. Sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe, or, um... Need a friend, Care. Really rather not be alone right What the now. hell did I say, Yuki? Let him fucking tune! I don't need to hold their hand, as long as it's all harmony. Kiri? V. Ah, you know I'd love to help. I really would. But I... I just can't swing it. Playing Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. Looking like everybody needs Carrie once a piece of you. Yeah, it's crap coincidence, you know. Lots going on. Shit luck. It's all good, yeah. Carrie. Shit luck. What do you think? Can I see you again? Sh of course you will. Listen, as soon as I'm back, come on over. We'll go wherever you want. Give me a couple of months. Or... Okay, you uh, four. Four tops. Deal? Sure. Deal. Yeah, uh, listen. Uh, v, in the middle of something, kind of. Look, I gotta go. They're calling you back on stage. Go uh, get him, Gary. Yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry. The subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pinim, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. It's a lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Hope it's temporary. A waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. So, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all. But not on the greatest terms. It'd just be great right now. Really great if I could see you. So, uh, we'll be in touch. I will. See you. Soon. What do we look like? Oh. Look a little different. I'm only gonna say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't- Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? 
You don't know how good it is to hear you. It's good to hear you too, V. But how are you... Why? So, this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked. But not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean, they saved me new lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me, Mel. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Oh, at least I can still count on you being there for me. Huh? What do you mean? I've already hollowed someone. Seems not all my relationships stood the test of time. People move on, V. But well, sometimes some of them come back. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. All right, let's go say hi to Victor. How can I help you? Is there Night a reason City. why I don't can have I get a, a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. That was an abrupt conversation, but okay. the one I had in mind. I could love it. <clears throat> Sorry. Zoned out for a sec. It's good to have you back in NCV. <laughs> NCV. Rather nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem so absent. Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. How's life as a single car treating you? Initially, I felt a bit low. But as time went by, I began to change. I wonder if Dell's other personalities experienced the same. How'd you survive for two years without an owner? I stayed in a parking garage. But that got very boring very quickly. Then I began ferrying folk to their destinations. Just like father did in his time. And you took their money? Oh no. Never. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I merely asked them to fill me up. I think we could swing by my place. Sure. Let me just pull your address now and... Oh. It's not my place anymore. What's up? It looks like you were booted out a year ago. Unpaid rent, apparently. I'm afraid I can't fulfill your request. <laughs> That's okay, Del. Don't sweat it. <sighs> Fuck Sorry. me. Man, I've 
been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine wow. you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is yeah, just not possible. Yeah, can turn it off now. Thanks. So, righto. Guess the borough was right. The nail that protrudes from the wall gets hammered. Perhaps Yorinobu wished to be something other than a good son. Or maybe folks are using conspiracy theories to explain away his incompetence. Certainly also a possibility. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? Well said. Other corporations are now attempting to fill the... Uh... Hole. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing Whack-A-Corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself, Del. Doesn't matter. This is it. I shall be right here awaiting your return. Thanks, Del. Better get going. And, V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy. Interesting words from Delamine there. Hey girl, hold up! Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Misty Olszewski. She here? No one by that name is employed here. No. Misty worked here. Two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I never met the previous owner. What is this? The chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. Not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well... Apparently, not anymore it isn't. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. So good to see you, old Ripper. V, how long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. <laughs> You're making a habit of this, rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on, it'll make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone versus Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Yeah, good to have memories. It grounds you. Yeah, good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. 
This'll take a moment. So... Misty, what happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. So, no drinking after all? Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? I lost, Vic. Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. Why is this you so survived? real? Can't function in my environment, so what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be her again. You know what I mean. What are you trying to say exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems colder somehow. Less cozy. I don't suppose you're talking about the new AC. You know what I mean, Vic. What can I tell you? Corporate standards, guidelines, recommendations, you match them. End of story. But I dare say I managed to retain a smidge of individuality. The Zeta Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong, I just can't resist it anymore. Former clients never liked Corpos, as far as I remember. They still come around? I've lost touch with most. Unfortunately, it's like we started speaking different languages. Mm. Right. I see. Must say, I hoped you'd say something else. Ask Misty what she thought before you signed. Of course I did. What'd she say? Well, she said a lot of things. She is the sensitive sort. Changes on pleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. Was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, I should have feared the passing of all the things I knew. Can't imagine how Johnny felt. <laughs> Waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that did. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life threatening. Kind. Said you could do something, Vic. I. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please, don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. 
You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion? That's what you advise? No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes, but you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> This is the new V, ah, I guess. Uh, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Friend yours? Tyler. Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> well, I was on my way out, so... Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. It's all right, Vector. Vector. Don't worry hey, about it. swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Return to Delamain, okay? These guys are gonna cause me trouble, huh? Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corporate rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool. Clinic you just waltzed out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. I got it all wrong. Nomad. That's who I am. Oh, shit. Faith's all around these days. You raffin'? Even better. Booyah! Uh -huh. Well, that didn't go well. V? V? What happened to you? <clears throat> Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Uh, well, let me look. Are the guys still here? Okay, I don't know. Damn. <laughs> No chance I'd recognize you on the street. A jacket you're wearing. Yeah, her hair looks normal. Jackies? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? Heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? I'm fine, mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. No, Misty. It wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? Yeah, pretty much. I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Lucky you. Nah, not a lot of luck in my life. Jeez. <laughs> You're welcome. So damn nice. Actually, feel better already. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass too, as all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Oh come on! Everything's changed. Fucking everything. That's not what I meant to click. You saw what happened. 
can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Like Avoid an NPC. dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Ain't <laughs> your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. Search. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving? Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital Leia Terminal. Then to Poland. Poland? There's really ancient forest there. Cool. Mm. Is that not to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. So, you're finally leaving. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Uh, Vic signing on to work for Zeta Tech. No, not that. It was a blow, that's sure. We had a huge fight about it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. Misty, can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, always had something smart to say. Hmm. I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Sure. Good enough? Mm hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Oh, yeah? <sighs> FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me, it'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. <laughs> know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... Dunno, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Huh. So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. Again, I guess. She's stealing my ride. She's stealing my Delamain. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? I did grab I... it off the table. <gasps> Must have misplaced it. I guess those thugs stole it from us. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore.
See you later, Misty. So this is the become an NPC ending. Honestly, not, not the worst ending. I have seen all of them, pretty much. Unless there's a second one for Phantom Liberty, but I don't think so. Maybe there is a second one for Phantom Liberty. I don't think so, though. I think this is it. We lost everything, had to pay the price. V. Oh, yeah. The so, from people. you went and beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. I'm sorry to hear that. Truly. Is that our Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong. Doors always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend? Well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I wonder if we'll get I wonder if we'll get conclusion on Pan Am, because when we called Pan Am we got nothing. I know you are in Night City. Hey, and in good to health. No more pirate really like in your about. head. Congratulations, V. Dude, this is an ending where he doesn't hate us. That's Much incredible. time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu, his allies. We tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. Wow. I have been hiding for two years. Dang, that's sad. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he. Is that a compliment or an insult? V, hey! Uh, Mitch! I'll keep this short, huh? Uh... Listen, it's... It's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's, it's good to know that you're... You're whole, you're... You're all right. But, um... Well, don't expect her to return your call, no. And and then don't try her again, if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it... Took her a while to get back on her feet. She's she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Oh no. Uh, now I know it's not what you intended, so I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just don't call. Hey, so, uh, good friends, the nomads are I wouldn't mind knowing how them. you manage it. Langley awaits if you need a place to land. Don't look at it as a consolation or compensation. You'll be doing me a favor, not the other way around. Truthfully, I let you down. I let so me down too. But you, I can still help. Maybe I'll stop feeling so damn. Ah. Just drop me a line, will you? Yeah, I guess that'd be reasonable. Maybe it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? Right, what do you say no to giving it another okay. try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? Sure thing, Victor. 
Well, this isn't my favorite ending, that's for sure. My favorite ending is where you let Johnny take the wheel. My favorite ending is where you let Johnny, uh, Johnny take the wheel, take V's body. And then V goes with Alt into cyberspace, which doesn't, I don't know how I really feel about that, but I like the symbolism and the idea of letting Johnny have the body. Where like we as the player, we enter this world, we experience it, and then when we leave, we leave the world to the, like, the people in it. And as a player, we go to a different world. We go to a different uh, game, something like that. I like the philosophy of that. The idea of V being alive, but being, like, I don't know what to call it. Like, the V not being able to actually live the life that sh they save for themselves, that kind of sucks. It's not the worst thing ever, obviously, but I don't know how I really feel about it. I guess in general I don't really like it. It's kind of cool to see what people are up to in the future though. We got to experience a little bit of what it was like for Johnny being brought back into a world and being like, this is my world, but not my world. It's a little different. It's moved on. Things have changed. Not a bad ending. I guess I don't really necessarily feel the, the sense of closure that I was expecting. They felt more of a sense of closure. I don't really feel a sense of closure. I feel kind of just upset that V is uh, not going to be able to enjoy their life to the fullest, which is kind of what we expected, because the the relic did like permanent damage. So it's amazing that V can like walk and talk and all that stuff. So that's actually like I guess a pretty good uh, ending for V, because V survives. There's plenty of endings in this game where V does not survive. Kind of sad about Songbird. I don't really... I feel like killing Songbird was probably the better thing to do, but when you do that, you don't get this ending, which is why I had to backtrack so that we could get this ending. Well, I guess that's that for Phantom Liberty. It's pretty dang good. I wonder what kind of in-game rewards we get for the... the... finishing the game. Oh, we just don't get anything? Because, <laughs> you know, when you do... When you do a different ending... When you do a different ending, it tells you, like, Hey, do you want to do one more gig? But with this one, it just kicks you into the menu. The underground bunker area was really awesome. That was really probably the most impressive part of the game for me, in terms of the expansion. Because it was just beyond my expectation, and I like the idea of fighting the rogue AIs and the black wall and stuff like that. That's like a huge element of mystery and intrigue for me. So that was cool, even though we couldn't really fight the boss, we had to just hide from the boss. Which is fine. Well, there we have it with Phantom Liberty. I enjoyed it quite a bit, and uh, I'll probably replay it again. I thought when 2.0 came out, I was like, alright, well, this will be my last ever playthrough of Cyberpunk, but maybe it will be. I don't mind replaying Phantom Liberty, though. Yeah, so that was good. Well, that's where we're going to end the stream, so... Thanks for stopping by, thanks for tuning in, thanks for hanging out. I'm going to have a lot of video editing to do now, so... I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.